Okay, our, sol our uh, solvent and mixture here have been uh, sitting with my museum sulfate for a good while. It's been about five minutes, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, pour our sample through. And so I have a pipette here with a small piece of cotton at the end to act as our filter. Uh, we are going uh, directly into a 25 milliliter non-bottom flux. Okay, so now that I've transferred all of the liquid, in order to ensure that I maximize the amount of liquid captured, if you notice there's always a little bit that gets stuck beyond the uh, cotton portion, I go ahead and attach my little bulb here and squeeze down so that the air can force the rest of whatever liquid is available out. Okay, we're going to go ahead and take this sample over to the rotovac and evaporate our solvent. Okay, so our sample is going to get connected to our adapter area. Go ahead and clip that in. There we are. Okay. Oh, wonderful. So, um, although it's not bubbling, I do see some solid already starting to uh, accumulate on the edges of the glass. And uh, we should start to see some liquid uh, recondensing over here on the other side. There we go. The solvent being evaporated is tart butyl methyl ether, and uh, although it is an ether, it is a little bit of a heavy ether, so uh, it might take a little bit for all of it to evaporate. We are at the final portion here where our solvent is evaporating. If you notice, we do have solid forming on the inside of the glass. And phenacetin is somewhat of a shiny compound relative to uh, the solid that we have in acetaminophen. And so I can tell that uh, we have generated some product here. Okay, so I have removed the sample from the rotovap. And uh, because terpbutyl methyl ether is a solvent that often sticks to the compounds that you're trying to dissolve it in. I'm testing it to see if our solid is actually solid. And this is wonderful. If, uh, if you can see here, I'm actually able to flake the compound and uh, move it around with my micro spatula. I have a small little bit of adhering here. Uh, the goal is to ensure that this isn't uh, pasty. When it's pasty, it's very difficult to uh, work with. So. Uh, so this is just a test to see if I need to rotovap it a little longer. This seems to be just fine. Okay, we're going to take this over to the scale and weigh it so that we can determine our crude mass. All right, this is wonderful. So we have a mass of uh, 17.9272. right. And I'll ask Lee to uh, bring the camera over so that you can take a look at our data here. Okay. Remember that this last mass here is with crude product. After recrystallization, we will determine what is the uh, mass of pure phenacetin isolated.